Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. I thought this was so fascinating, you know, with the Kim Kardashian West and the Kanye West and another actress just got baptized over in Israel that Brad Pitt then came out and said he was no longer an atheist. I knew, you know, in dealing with atheists over the years, they'd kind of trot him out sometimes as a trophy. So this is from a recent GQ article and how his journey from atheism back to uh, a belief in God. So that's just pretty interesting. Thought I might read just a few things that are contained in this article because it is so fascinating. Okay, so Brad Pitt explains his journey from atheist back to God. So Brad Pitt confesses he's no longer an atheist, calling it youthful rebellion, and explores his road back to God in a new interview with GQ magazine. This is by Andrea Ruth. Uh, actor Brad Pitt confesses he's no longer considers himself an agnostic or an atheist in a GQ uh, interview. The 55-year-old Ad Astra actor now says he sees his falling away from faith in his earlier years as youthful, as youthful rebellion. Um, Brad Pitt discusses Christianity. Goes on to say, however, the Oklahoma native recently said he's finally embraced believe in God. Uh, oh man, I've gone through everything like I cling to religion. I grew up with Christianity. Always questioned it, but it worked at times, he said in a recent interview with GQ magazine. And... Uh, there's also on Christianity Today, Brad Pitt, no longer an atheist, uh, and then Christian Post, Brad Pitt no longer identifies as an atheist. So there is, uh, Brad Pitt turns from atheism and clings to religion. Uh, in GQ interview, Pat, Brad Pitt admits atheism just an act. Of rebellion, I'm, I'm guessing. So this is fascinating. And so I'm not saying he's become a Christian or he's any kind of Pentecostal Christian or anything, but he has just uh, said he believes in God. He grew up Southern Baptist. So I just think that's fascinating. And you know, my recommendation is to keep praying for people, everybody, whether it's the person living under a bridge, whether it's the massive field of nursing home ministry prison population, the bankers, your neighbors, you know, reaching out, sharing the love of God with everybody. And that would include Hollywood actors and actresses who are just people that Jesus hung on a cross for. You know, we can read so many things, and I've probably even done videos of like uh, directors and all this saying, you know, Hollywood's full of Satan worship and blah, blah, all this kind of stuff. Okay, be that as it may, uh, people who were Satan worshipers can come to Jesus Christ. The revival in Ephesus, you know, it, they took their magical arts books and burnt them, and the cost of the books totaled 50,000 pieces of silver. So, this is uh, something God can cause revival from everywhere, as they say euphemistically in the old time preachers, from the outhouse to the White House and every place in between. So this is a good thing. So God bless. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.